Nice to have you with us. because some precipitation is beginning to push towards the region. You may see a couple of snowflakes mix in with rain if you live in our southwestern suburbs. By about lunchtime, we're all dealing with a really cold rain, and that will continue tonight. Temperature-wise, we're in the 40s today. Tonight, we're going to be in the 40s and drop into the 30s. By tomorrow, a couple of showers in the morning, maybe even a few snowflakes, but back to some sunshine by Tuesday, near 50 degrees. All right, Ryan, thank you very much, sir. A reminder, you can get the latest news and weather anytime with our NBC Washington app. Have a great day. Gerald, why don't you walk us through what happened on the field tonight? No, with pleasure. You see, Philadelphia was in trouble until they turned to their secret weapon, George Santos. <laughs> Just look at the stats. I completed 36 of 25 passes for 300 yards and 600 yards. I had 12 touchdowns, 17 rebounds, and 10 RBI. Ukrainian president. That is Bowen Yang as Republican Congressman George Santos on last night's new episode of Saturday Night Live. White Lotus star and former NBC page, Aubrey Plaza hosted the show with musical guest Sam Smith. At the 2015 Academy Awards, the hip-hop star and actor Common delivered a moving performance alongside John Legend of their song Glory from the film Selma. The pair won the Oscar that night for best song from a movie in which Common starred as well. Selma showcased Common's talent for music and acting and his eye toward activism and social justice, which have been at the center of his work since he released his first album in 1992. Now the 50-year-old is breaking new ground again, this time on stage. Common and I got together at the Helen Hayes Theater in the heart of Broadway for a Sunday sit-down. <laughs> You are in the heart of it, Common. You got Phantom of the Opera, you got Sardis, you are on Broadway. Man, you're doing it. It's like unbelievable for me, man. This is, you know, where I enter every oh, day now. Stage this door. Stage door. Stage door. Stage door. Stage door. Stage door. Let's do it. Oh, For good. three decades now, Common has proven he can command the stage. But the Pulitzer Prize winning play Between Riverside and Crazy has the hip hop star in unfamiliar territory on Broadway. When you come out on stage, a big cheer goes up. Ah, Common's here. What do you feel when you hear that? It's a great welcome. I do my best not to anticipate it because some nights say Hold for applause. No applause. No applause. Like, so, so I do my best not to anticipate it, just feel what's going on. You came into a group of actors who've been doing this play for a few years and you plugged in. Did that feel like a little added pressure to you that I wasn't just hired because I'm a big name to put on the marquee? The pressure I felt most was like, find this character. Because I came in the first day of rehearsal, like off book, I knew all my lines. And they were looking like, oh, okay, this dude cares. I'm a team player. I ran point guard playing basketball, so I love when everybody is scoring. His new Broadway team is led by Tony-nominated actor Stephen McKinley Henderson, who plays Walter, a former New York City cop and recent widower. I like you. Common plays Walter's son and now roommate, Junior, a former drug addict recently released from prison. I'm already taking care of one impossible guy. I'm child of my father. When you meet Junior, he's trying to get his stuff together. And now he's in this apartment with his father who has never shown him love. And I think, you know, throughout the play, you see this individual, like, boiling with different emotions and feelings about that relationship and also just trying to find some type of peace i just need a couple of days alone yeah but i can go with you and you can still be alone but it was one reservation i wanted to talk about because i'm a hip-hop artist i was deciding if i wanted to play a dude that was like from the streets had been in prison as one of the first characters i was doing on broadway but as i continued to read the play i was like it's so much depth that we 
can bring to these characters. This play was like something I feel is purposeful for me as an artist, as an actor, and in my life, and what I want to give to people in their lives. Before he was an artist, Common was Lonnie Rashid Lynn Jr. from the south side of Chicago. He arrived on the hip-hop scene in the early 90s as Common Sense. And since has won three Grammy Awards, an Emmy, and an Oscar for his thoughtful music, often described as conscious rap. Do you like that label? Initially, I... I didn't like it because I'm just giving who I am. I'm not going to try to be gangster because I'm not gangster. But, I, you know, I didn't start off perfect with my, with my raps. I remember the first time I was ever on Oprah's show and, and my mother was like, yeah, my son doesn't curse in his raps. And I was like, ma, you must have listened to me. <laughs> but that being said, um, you know, what I, what I like more than just only being thoughtful is just being truthful. Being um, a human being. Welcome to the story we call the Big Tory. The coming of the Lord, my eyes have seen the glory. One day. A longtime advocate for criminal justice reform, Common founded the nonprofit Imagine Justice in 2018. It is partly why his character in Between Riverside and Crazy feels so familiar to him. And one of the things that I always got from people that I met who were incarcerated, I would, I would say, what can I do for you? What can I do? Mm -hmm. They would say, man, just let them know we're human beings. Well, I like to be alone sometimes, especially now with my pops and all. Yeah, you feel the stigma that he has, having been incarcerated back home, that now what moment? One of the things that I, I, I noticed was that, man, when, when you get out of prison, it's like, it's even tougher. Like, we gotta do something about this. Yeah, and that's, I think, part of why you and your organization want to bring in formerly incarcerated people yeah. to see the show. Yeah, we, we've organized a few things. We have something called Justice Night on Broadway where we're going to bring in those that are formerly incarcerated to see the play. And we also will be broadcasting the play to different prisons in New York, California, and Chicago. But then I'm also about to work. What laws can we change? And one of the things that we're working on is a fair and timely bill and also an elderly parole bill. Both deal with people who have been incarcerated for over 20 years and go before parole boards and just them getting a fair chance of being able to come back to society because if they've proven to be safe, they've proven to be changed, then, you know, can they get back into society? Common has passed down his passion to his daughter, Amoye, who recently graduated from law school. I'm very uh, happy for her, proud of her, inspired by her. Like, is she going to follow your footsteps, social justice, things like that? I, I yeah. think she is. I believe she understands that, yeah, she's a lawyer and she's going to be working within the system, but you can still be a revolutionary within the system. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> crowds have been amazing and you have the crowd laughing and you have them gasping because so many things happen yeah. unexpectedly and you can feel those moments like you do yeah, there you feel it you feel those yeah. moments i think that's one of the beauties of live theater it's just like man you you really can touch people and move people with stories that have the stories that have souls He's so great. Common and his castmates continue their run in Between Riverside and Crazy to February 12th. Our big thanks to the Helen Hayes Theater and 48 Lounge for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Common. There's a lot in there. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday Sit Down with a Hollywood icon, Richard Gere, on a career of unforgettable roles from America. American Gigolo and an officer and a gentleman to Pretty Woman and Chicago. Richard Gere, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather.
Good morning. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ryan Miller. We are quiet weather-wise in the district, but to our south and southwest, we're watching a mixture of some wet snow and rain begin to push to the north. That will get to the D.C. region by about lunchtime, and it looks like it's going to be a cold rain for most of us. Air temperatures in the lower 40s. The rain's going to continue here into the morning hours of Monday. We'll dry out, though, in the afternoon near 46. 50 on Tuesday with sunshine. More rain coming in here on Wednesday and then drying out late week. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including impossible levels of adorableness as a rescued beaver builds a dam in her new home from whatever she could find around the house. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on this 50th anniversary of the Roe vs. Wade decision from a group of people who were there. We are back in just 30 seconds. Red time.